Welcome back my king and queens. It is queen of queen she me and today I have a video in collaboration with Raw Spice Bar and we will be doing a holiday giveaway for one of my lucky subscribers here on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned until the end so that way you guys can get the giveaway details. So they sent me the Thanksgiving flavor kit and they reached out to me because they just really wanted to do a collaboration with me. So thank you so much Raw Spice Bar for this amazing opportunity. For the month of November, I received a um, kit of three different um, raw spice bar spices. And they also included six of their actual recipes that you can use along with the actual spices if you really weren't um, able to come up with the own recipe of your own or if you just don't have a recipe already that you're using to use along with the spices so I thought that was very helpful because I wouldn't have known what to do with these spices you guys so thank you so much for including the recipes because I think that is so awesome and amazing for people who just really don't know how to freestyle when it comes to cooking so the recipes they are very simple you guys it really didn't take me long it really only took me 30 minutes to actually do this video for you guys so it's a really quick and simple and it's really a no-brainer so they sent me over three spices you guys and I received the Indo French Van Duven peppercorn chai and um pumpkin pie spice I thought it was so cool I was like how's that gonna be um pumpkin pie spice but you guys will actually see me use those other two later on in another video and then on the back of each individual packet they also show you guys what ingredients are all included so if you have an allergy or something definitely make sure you check out the ingredients listed on the back of each individual packet so now we're going to go right on ahead into the video and today we are going to be making the Van Duven Leek and Butternut Squash Soup. You guys, this is my very first time ever having butternut squash soup and even making butternut squash soup. So I've already had my butternut squash in the oven for about 30 minutes and we're going to let that cook for about another 15 minutes. And so to start things off, you're going to need a large pot pretty much so that way you can put your soup in there and have it cooked and combined and you're just going to want to heat about maybe a tablespoon two tablespoons of butter you guys but I do believe it's two tablespoons but I will leave all of the ingredients and the recipe listed down below in the description bar so you pretty much want to melt that over medium high heat and then afterwards you're going to want to add your one onion and then you're going to want to add three medium leeks you guys I went to the store and completely forgot the leeks but after researching online leeks are similar to onions so you can actually use two onions if you didn't have any leeks on hand in your kitchen and you just want to saute that for about six to eight minutes in the pan and then you want to add your garlic. You will need six cloves of freshly minced garlic. And we keep this on hand in our household because I love garlic. I cook with it in almost everything that we eat in our house. And then you want to actually use some salt and pepper to taste. We use sea salt because it's actually healthier for you because you will actually use less of it because it has more, I guess, of a higher salt content. And then you want to use some pepper as well. So now it's time for the star of the show and it is the Indo-French Van Duven 100% pure spices and this is all freshly ground you guys and it has such a distinct smell it has such a flavorful aroma oh my gosh you guys our house is smelling so good so I'm so excited to again have been in collaboration with Raw Spice Bar and to actually bring you guys this actual three month supply giveaway subscription so once again we're going to combine all the ingredients until you get an actual light aroma from these spices and that's only going to take about a minute or so and then afterwards we're going to add our butternut squash so it has been cooling for about 15 minutes or so since we have been combining all of the other ingredients but you pretty much want to just salt and pepper it and it's um over top lightly drizzle some olive oil to help with the actual cooking of the butternut squash and then you just take it out and let it cool so that's what I did and so that's what I'm showing you guys here and it just looks so delicious so we're going to scoop all of the insides of the actual butternut squash into the pot with all of the spices our onions our leeks and salt and pepper so you guys will see me do that here and I did have some that dropped in with the actual skin but don't worry I will go back and take that out of there because we don't want that in our actual soup itself So 
So now that we have all of our butternut into the pot with the previous ingredients, you're going to combine all of those and just pretty much make them like a smooth consistency. Think of it as if you were actually making mashed potatoes at home. That's what you're wanting to do. So you just wanna make sure you don't have any lumps or large hit bits of the actual butternut squash in your um, soup, you guys. So you'll see me again use salt and pepper to taste. Um, and again, I didn't want to add too many additional seasons because of all of the other ingredients that were included inside of the um, actual packet itself. So you will need one can of diced tomatoes to go along with your um, butternut squash as well. So we're going to place that in there and we're just going to combine all of those ingredients together. And you guys like this really does yield a large amount of soup so you definitely want to make sure you have friends over when you're making this um, recipe because you'll have leftovers for sure so now we're just going to cover and let that cook for just five minutes just so that way everything can just brown really you don't want it to like cook cook so we're going to add in one full container of chicken broth and you guys you don't have to actually use the whole container um because afterwards you will actually use one cup of water as well so um you know if you know it may be too much for your liking then don't use as much um chicken stock you know use half and then just add your one cup of water if that's what you would prefer so now we're adding in our one cup of water and you just want to make sure again that you don't have any ingredients sticking to the bottom of your pot and then we're going to let this cover and cook and simmer for about 30 minutes, you guys. And then once it has actually come to an actual like boil per se, um, you're gonna mix it again and then you're gonna really cut it down on low and then let it finish cooking the remaining 30 minutes. So bring it to a boil, mix all the ingredients together and then reduce the temperature down to like medium low or low and then just let it cook for the remainder 30 minutes. Okay, so once it has actually cooked, you guys, you're going to place everything inside of a blender. And then you're going to blend it all together, but be careful because as you can see, some of it actually did jump out because of the steam of the soup. So you may want to let it cool before you actually go into blending all of the contents together. So be very careful in doing so. And so I had to blend twice because we had so much of the butternut squash soup. And you guys, again, it's only me and Alexa. It's only two of us. So that pretty much concludes this video, you guys, for this giveaway. And pretty much after you have blended it, you want to just pour it into your containers or into your soup bowl or cup. And then you want to have it along with the side of your um, baguette. Um, you guys, so you can dip it in there and eat it. It's so delicious. And I was so full after eating this. Like, it was so filling. So of course you want to know the rules of the giveaway you guys. So first you must be subscribed to my channel and like all three of my videos in collaboration with Raw Spice Bar. Second you must follow both of our Instagram pages um, Queen She Me and Raw Spice Bar. And then lastly you have to comment on my giveaway post saying raw giveaway so that way i know that you actually have done the previous steps into actually enter into the giveaway and that's it you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did again don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you are subscribed and stay tuned for my next two videos that are also in collaboration with the raw spice bar for this three month supply giveaway for one of my lucky subscribers so I hope you guys are having a very happy holidays. Thank you so much for being so supportive this year. I look forward to even getting to know more of you next year, you guys. And I will see you in my next upload. Be blessed, queens.